Welcome back to Anderson Smoke Show. Today, I've got a nine pound slab of pork belly and we're gonna turn these into some pork belly burnt ends, some meat candy. So stick around and see how we do it. If you're new here, my name is Andrew and I'm an engineer. So everything that you see today is gonna be technical and to the point and we're gonna show you how to make some pork belly burnt ends. Let's get started. Now when it comes to any meat, I like to start out by removing it from the package and then just taking a paper towel and pat drying off any of that purge, anything, any of the juices, excess water that might be on the surface of the meat there. So just take some paper towel like so. Now it's best if you take a sharp knife and what we want to do is we want to cut this into strips about as wide as it is thick. And there may be some things that you wanna trim off. There is a little bit of huge excess fat over here. I'm gonna trim some of that off. But really, we're gonna leave this pretty untouched unless you really see something that needs to be trimmed off. So now we wanna take a nice sharp knife and cut this into strands about as wide as it is thick. So probably about an inch, inch and a half. And a nice sharp knife will help with that. And I think I'm gonna start by just scoring it first. Then I'll go back later and cut straight through it. So now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna cut through each of these all the way down. So now we wanna take these and we wanna cut them into cubes. So I'm gonna move this entire thing like so. All right, now it's time to season this and we're gonna be using the Meat Church, the Gospel. It's a good all-purpose rub. I've got all of this pork belly tucked in kind of tight next to each other, like you see here. And I'm just doing that so it's less spice waste. And uh, we're just gonna get in here and season these real good. Now for this, people will use like a honey base or a sweet rub, that's good too. You could even use something with a little bit of spice like the honey hot hog. I'm looking for just a good general all-purpose barbecue rub for this because the glaze itself and the sauce and everything at the end is gonna be sweet enough. You're not gonna need that extra. Now it's about time to flip these. Now I'm gonna share my secret for whenever I'm seasoning anything. The backside of your gloves typically dry I take the back side and I just pat the seasoning on. Helps it stick to the surface so if you're gonna be flipping it or moving it, you're not gonna be wiping it off. And now's the fun part. We get to flip these about a million times. Flipped them all over, it's time to spice up this side. We're gonna repeat this on all sides, no sense for you watching this, we'll see you when I'm done. All right, it's time to get them in the grill, but first, if you've got a wire rack, it's gonna make transport way easier because you're gonna be moving these on and off the grill a few different times. So use a wire rack and also set the meat fat cap down. It's pretty obvious to tell where that's at. And just leave some space for the smoke to surround the meat. And that's pretty much it. So today for these pork belly burn ends, I wanted to try something different. I've got the Naughty Wood Barbecue Company Plum. These are 100% plum pellets. They're very unique to the market. Thought this would be a good opportunity to try them. All right, we've got the grill running. It's at 275 degrees. It's preheated, ready to go. We're gonna get these burnt ends in. Like I said, I've got them on them wire racks. It makes it much easier to maneuver these because I can just pick up an entire sheet of them like this and tuck them back into the corner, just like so. And I've got my other wire rack here. 
we'll do the same with this one. All right, we'll get this thing closed up. All right, so we just put the pork belly into the smoker about two, two and a half hours at 275. We're just looking to get that rub to set up, get some nice color on there, and then we're gonna pull them and we're gonna wrap them up and tenderize them. So we'll see in two hours. All right, we are a little over two hours in. They are looking good. I've rotated the racks a couple times. Now I will say that if you got some hot spots on your grill, you will find them here because a few of them may get charred, but you could trim that off with a sharp knife before we get them in the foil here. So let's go ahead and take these out and man, do they look good. We've got our pork belly burnt ends. They look good. I mean, take a look at those. We got them in what they call a lasagna dish. This is like a nine and a half by 13 pan. You want to make sure you get the little deeper one. That way we got some room to cover this up. We've got a half a cup of brown sugar. We're going to use one and a half sticks of unsalted butter and we're going to drizzle with honey. So I'm going to go ahead, open up this butter here. And I'm just going to start throwing some slices on all around. And like I said, we're using a stick and a half of butter. And I know you're probably saying, damn, all that pork belly, all that butter, all that fat, boy, this is, this. yeah, well, they don't call it meat candy for nothing. All right, so we've got our stick and a half of butter here. We got the brown sugar, and I'm just going to drizzle this in here. This was packed pretty tight, so I'm just using my knife to knock it out of the measuring cup here. I got some honey here, and I'm not really going to measure. I'm just going to drizzle. I'm going to do kind of a zigzag pattern here, and I'm going to go back in both directions, just like so. We're going to cover this with foil now. This is basically the tenderizing phase. So this is going to go for about an hour and a half to two hours, depending. And this is where we're going to get those super tender, super, super tender bites. All right, we got these wrapped up in that lasagna sized foil pan, 250 degrees now. We're going to put it right in the center of the smoker. It'll be the next hour and a half to two hours. We'll get this closed and then we're gonna glaze them up and they're done. So we'll see you then. All right, we're about an hour and 50 minutes into that braising period in that foil pan. It's time to get them off. So I got my heat resistant gloves here. I'm just gonna take this over to the table. We got one last step before we try them. All right, so we've got these out of the smoker. It's time to unwrap them. We need to drain some of the liquid off of them. Oh man, these look, these look mighty fine. Now you can see there is quite a bit of liquid here and I'm going to just drain this into the pan. I'm going to leave just a little bit though. You know, for this next step, a lot of people will make glazes and all these big fancy intricate recipes. Just get some of your favorite barbecue sauce. This is an 18 ounce bottle of Sticky Fingers Carolina Sweet. I'm gonna pour about half of this, maybe just a little bit more than half. And I'm just gonna drizzle this all over these burnt ends. And then just for show time, just to drizzle a little bit more honey. Brought a slotted spoon out here. I'm just gonna mix this up. Oh man, some of these are even breaking apart. That's how tender they are. Man, they look good. I'm just mixing these up. That way we know that they're coated all the way around. Oh man, do these look and smell delicious. It's back into the smoker again for about another 10 minutes and then they're done. So let's get them over there. All right, just gonna place these right into the center here. About another 10 minutes, like I said, and they are ready to eat. All right, it's been 10 minutes. Let's pull these off. Man, do those look good. Mix them up, get all them sauces coated all the way around. Oh man, these look legitimate as hell. You've seen these pork belly burn ends start to finish from a slab of pork belly to these. So I got one here and they, they are so tender, it's falling apart already. 
Mm. They don't call this meat candy for nothing. These are delicious. They are so tender. I mean, I can just, I can just destroy it right in the palm of my hand. Now remember, this is, this is a treat. These are delicious. These are great. <laughs> there's a lot of sugar and there's a lot of calories and fat in this, but damn, is it good. And you know what? That Camp Chef Grill did a great job keeping up with it. No problems the entire time. We smoked them with those knotty wood uh, plum pellets. First time I've used them. These have a good smoke flavor. I don't know if I can really tell plum per se, but I have so much going on with these between the sauce and the seasoning and the honey and the butter and the pork belly that uh, I might be forgetting about the smoke. But these are phenomenal. And if you want more phenomenal recipes this summer, then be sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time at Anderson's Smoke Show.